All right, folks, good morning. It's a uh, Monday morning, sun coming up here in Barrio Barreto here in the Philippines. And today is election day in the Philippines. For 48 hours, well, I guess 24 hours before the election and then 24 hours uh, like during the election. There's no alcohol served here. In the Philippines, unless it's a uh, tourist designated business, so I was actually able to get a beer yesterday, which I thought I wasn't, but I I, w I was able to, because I'm a foreigner, I'm a tourist. Now I was coming to Bismarck to pick up a few items, but Bismarck is not open because I'm out so early today. So I'm not sure where this video is going to take me today, but I figure, okay, it's election day. And I'm going to just hang out and about. And see what I can get into today. Already got some folks over here at church. Okay, well, Bismarck... <coughs> not open yet so I'm gonna try not to get run over and I may take a look out here on the beach try to find me a cup of coffee somewhere But again, right here, this is the Bismarck. So if you're here in Barrio Barreto, it's right next to this Ambon Hotel, right across from the Mañana Hotel. And that, that Bismarck, sort of like the grocery store, but we don't get vegetables and meat there. <laughs> if uh, I explain that, explain that well. So I want to welcome everybody to this is the election day video in the Philippines. It is a beautiful sunny day. So usually I'm not out real early, but that's Rico's. And I'm just searching for a cup of coffee. I don't know if I'm just too early or if it's because it's election day. I can always head over to Sitting Bull, but I figured I would just try something different. We'll be in search of a cup of coffee. Now there's mangoes, four to seven. Happy hour, 60 peso local drinks. Folks, I didn't have this camera going. I just saw one of the most beautiful girls I've seen in a long time. Shit, I can't believe I missed that. You never know what you're gonna run into. Just gotta get out of the house, and start walking. You know, when we talk about meeting girls, a lot of guys, a lot of guys struggle about how to meet girls. And I'm not just narrowing down any country, I'm talking about in general. But a lot of reason, I think the main reason, one of the main reasons, dudes, guys can't find a girl is because they don't take their ass out of the house and or put themselves out there, you know, either, either out in the public or out there online. You're not advertising yourself. If you just sit there on the couch and watch TV, wish you had a girlfriend, I mean, no girl's gonna show up at your house, knock on the door and say, you know, make love to me. That's not gonna happen. You gotta get out there, take some action.
And these days, you can sit at, sit at your house and take action online and meet some ladies, but I come from old school where you saddled up, took your ass outside, either to the grocery store or the church, <laughs> to the bar, get your ass out of the house, went somewhere. That's how you met ladies. All right, folks, so my, my store is still not open. So I figured I'd take a walk down here to the action. Looks like the polling, polling sites down here. I don't know. See a lot of people, so I figured I would walk down through here. Got some tents set up. It looks like the voting has already began. Begun, one of the two. And got the got the police on the scene. Hello. No, you're not. All right, folks. So I am in the right place. The uh, polling station is here at the school. I guess at this uh, Barreto Elementary School. And I, I cut the video kind of short, but there's there's a look around. So the voting is in full swing. But what's kind of funny here, here in the Philippines, I often am mistaken for a local. You know, I'm a short guy. I got dark skin, you know, brown features. So a lot of times I am uh, able to blend in because I'm mistaken for uh, for Filipino. So when I come down through there, people were trying to hand to hand out uh, I don't know, hand out pamphlets, whatever they're handing out. But they. You know, quickly realize, wait a minute, this is a foreign guy. What are you doing down here? <laughs> um, but anyhow, the voting, the uh, ladies were telling me that the voting is, uh, it started at 6 a.m. So that would explain why most everything is not open. And it ends at 3 p.m. So 6 to 3 here at the elementary school. But I'm headed down to uh, the coffee shop to try to get me some uh, some coffee. And it's right here at uh, Iloilo. Iloilo Street is where the, uh, the uh, elementary school is in Barrio Barreto. But I'm headed to the coffee shop. Coffee shops down here on the same road that the market is on where we get the fresh vegetables. I'm looking for a cup of coffee, so I'm hoping that the coffee shop is open. Well, folks, when you're when you're walking around in the Philippines, you have to be careful and pay attention to where you're going because of this. Alright, now in the majority of this is the sewer is covered. So, you know, you might be walking along, everything's good, you're walking along, you're not paying attention, you're looking around. And then all of a sudden, boom, boom, there you are. Broke leg in a, in a damn river of shit. And this is kind of an extreme example. Obviously, it, it's all tore up right here. So like when I was, I was just walking along the main road you know, for the longest time, the path was uh, was clear. You know, you can walk on it. And then all of a sudden, right out of the blue, it's missing missing one of the covers, and boom, you go right down into the into the sewer. 
So when you're here in the Philippines walking around, you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention, period. If it's at night and you're drinking, you really don't want to be walking any any long distance just because of those hazards, you know, the road being broken up, sidewalk being broken up, what have you. You just gotta pay pay attention. Are you you're gonna find your damn leg broke and you'll be down in down in a ditch somewhere. That's why I say at night, you know, when you're coming home from the bar, don't try to walk home. Just always take a tricycle, take a taxi, pay a few bucks, and you avoid all the pitfalls. The uh, sometimes and often hazardous walking conditions. The lady boys trying to pick your pocket, and any other unsavory conditions or characters you might run into and I know that has nothing to do with nothing but if you leave a bar at night take a damn cab home don't be cheap that's my recommendation again this is the same little street that the coffee shop is on so we got chicken feet uh, meat eggs over here on this side and this gentleman's got some bananas. And actually, I'm gonna get some bananas from this gentleman right here. Let me just see what he's talking about. Hello, sir, how are you? Hey, how much are the bananas? 70, one kilo. Uh, how much for one kilo? 70. 70 for one kilo? Yeah. All right, let me find some here. Let's see. My daughter, she loves bananas. Mm. Which one should I go with? We'll take those right there, my friend. Yeah, how much? How many kilos is that? One and a half, one oh five. One one oh five for all of those. Yes. All right, folks. So there you go. Uh, one one point five kilos yeah. and one hundred five pesos. So. Yes. It's about two dollars. All right, I'll take them, my friend. Thank you. All right. It's actually a gentleman didn't have change for five hundred, so he just took a couple of bananas back. I had ninety six. Two bucks for the bananas. Now we're headed to this coffee shop. Hey, you know what? Actually, since I'm down this way, I may just go into this one grocery store and forego my coffee, and get my business done. But this place might not be open either. This is the BMM Barretto Mini Mart. And it is open. So I'm going to go in here and handle my business instead of messing around at the coffee shop. Alright folks, i just take you around this little Mini Mart here. Got me a cart. And damn, this thing don't turn worth the worth the crap and I'm on the lookout for diapers <laughs> everybody knows I got a couple babies at the house so I gotta find some diapers not this aisle oh yeah right here alright so we're looking for diapers And again, this is the BMM Barreto Mini Mart. And folks, okay, now I got a lot of experience with diapers and all this stuff, dealing with my kids, right? When I first came here, you know, I'm a foreign guy, so I go for the Pampers. Pampers, the Huggies, what, you know, what have you, all the brands that I'm used to hearing in the States. But this is the best that we settled on right here these EQ they're, they're cheaper and they're better that's just my opinion but I got two kids so I go with these EQ uh, I get the XL for my daughter let's see I gotta get the mediums and they're color coded so it's pretty 
pretty much idiot proof. Even when I've been drinking, I usually come back with the right stuff. So I got to go with the mediums. Yeah. Medium EQ and XL EQ. But again, I tried, <clears throat> I tried these Huggies and these Pampers. And the damn Pampers, folks, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not under any corporate sponsor. I can say what the fuck I want to say here. The damn Pampers were, were <laughs> what would I say, shitty? Pampers were, Pampers are horrible. And I, I was expecting, you know, I got a brand name diaper. They were, they were shitty. And they leaked. So the EQ is what we go with, folks. So if you can plan on having kids over here, I recommend the EQ diapers. All right. You hear them double clicks. I'm recentering the gimbal. I think I need to calibrate it again. Some, sometimes this thing gets off center real easy. You got to keep, keep adjusting it. See what am I looking for? I'm really not looking for anything in particular. Now, folks, when you leave the West, you know whatever you're used to. You're in America. You're used to Walmart. You don't have them. You know you go to smaller shops like this. You have everything you need. But, you know, you're so used to going to Walmart where you have uh, 9 million choices. So it's just a different shopping experience when, when you get out of your home country. But look at this. I still got Best Foods, Real Mayonnaise. I got a couple different brands, but I don't have 30 different brands. I mean, that's really the difference. And some people are very picky about their brands and they find it hard to live outside of their home country. But you know, really, once you get used to it, this becomes the norm, right? Shopping in a smaller shop like this, I don't have to go to town. And look at here, folks, occasionally I do run across some cream of chicken soup. And I like to make this with the rice. And the ladies and my daughter, they love that. So every now and then, I had to get some uh, some soup here. And I don't see a price on it. I can give you a price. Oh, it's on the top. What is this? Shit, I can't read that. I will get one can of cream of chicken. Maybe fire up a dish for my ladies tonight. But they're cooking from they're cooking lunch, so I'm, I don't need to worry about lunch. But I will pick up some some macaroni here. What do we got? 72 pesos. So I got the elbow macaroni for 72 pesos. Ooh, all right, we got 52 pesos right here. So I'm going with the 52 pesos. That's about a buck. Yeah. That's royal spaghetti. Yeah, that says, wait a minute, that says 90. So that's not the 52. But you know what? I'll just go ahead and pick that up since I'm here. Make some noodles. We got all canned, canned goods over here on this side. Now, folks, my ladies, they love that corned beef. I'm not, I'm not into the corned beef at all. And you know what I forgot over here? I forgot to get some wipes. All right, so we got the frozen section. Looks like we got hot dogs. All kind of ice cream stuff. Which item? Which aisle? Yeah, right here. So I forgot to get the wipes. Man, when you get, when you buy diapers, you always have to remember the wipes. But I didn't see any on this aisle.
Hmm. All right, I gotta be somewhere close. Where are they hiding these damn baby wipes? Trying to hide from me. Oh, here we go. Down on the bottom shelf. Hidden down here. How much of those? Those are, those are 60. 60 pesos on these guys. Yes, folks, you definitely... You got babies, you can't run out of wipes. Wait a minute, what do I got here? That's 80 for... Yeah, that's more That's more beefy right there. That's what we're going to go with. You don't want to mess around. That's the last one they got. My goodness. We'll, we'll change it up. We'll try these right here. Change it up a bit. Get a couple things of wipes. Don't need no shit paper. Because... When you leave the West, most people don't use shit paper. You use an ass sprayer or a pail of water. Okay, now look, Flo has been cooking some great food lately. Dairy cream classic. And she's been putting uh she's been putting butter in there, folks. She's been putting butter in there and her little dishes are turning out really well. A lot of it, she's just uh, improvising, coming up with it as we go. And she's put together some really good dishes. What do we got back here? That's the Bihon. Okay, now they do like these packets of noodles. And uh, I'm trying to find them. I see them here on the floor, but I don't see them on the shelf. That's all right. We'll use the macaroni noodles that we got. So, folks, even in these small shops, look, you got Tabasco sauce, wing sauce, all this stuff right here, some McCormick, all the spices. Everything you need. There might be one particular sauce that you have to go... You have to go into town to get if you're really picky. Alright, so this is what I'm after right here. Lactum. Zero to six months. And, folks, this stuff ain't cheap. This is, uh... Oh, how much is that? I can't even see that. Six seventy one. dollars I think it's more than that. I think it's like a thousand pesos for the big box zero to six months but you know what when you got a baby and your wife doesn't breastfeed or them titties run out of milk your ass will be over here on the on the milk aisle buying milk but the good news is my daughter my daughter we're weaning her off the milk so she don't drink much milk anymore. But the young man, he's still he's still drinking milk. Let's find some coffee. That's what I originally came out for today with some coffee. Nescafe creamy white. Hmm, six fifty. Six pesos each on these packets here. Nescafe looks like ten pesos. All right, all right, folks. Now on to the last aisle. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, so just got the just got the noodles. And look, today's election day, so there's a liquor ban. You know, I talked about that. It's 48 hour liquor ban. No big deal. You know. Ooh, hot banana sauce, spicy. I bet that shit's delicious. Man. That HP sauce, damn good as well. I don't think I need anything over here. Got Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. 
Then we'll go with a butter. I'm gonna I'm gonna boil up those noodles. I'll do butter with chicken, uh, cream of chicken soup, cream of chicken soup, butter, and noodles. And I'll steal some of the ladies' chicken. Ooh, that's gonna be a wonderful dish. I think we got some garlic, and I could probably put some coconut juice in there, but I'm not gonna get too crazy. And let's go check out, and I'll tell you how much this is gonna be. All right, folks, so we're here to check out. Let me show you this beautiful lady. And folks, everywhere you go in the Philippines, all the ladies are beautiful. All right, that lactum was 1,049 pesos, so that's like 21 bucks for that milk. So folks, when you got a baby, no matter where you're at in the world, that milk is always going to be expensive. Let me throw down a couple packs of diapers here. Check the price on these. And that cream and chicken soup. I'm gonna make me some delicious, delicious lunch for the ladies. With this butter. So, how are you today? I'm making a YouTube video. Oh, your hair looks your hair looks wonderful. I'm hiding my face. Your hair looks wonderful, but you look beautiful. Yeah, I got a YouTube channel. So, did you ladies vote this morning? Yes. Not yet? Okay. Okay, so we're 1584. So, let's see. The, the diapers... The diapers are 299 pesos. So, they're... Well, the one over there is 299. So, it's like six six bucks on the diapers. And those wipes are 89 pesos, so about two bucks. And about a dollar twenty on that can of Campbell's. Go see how much these are. So those are, uh, alright, so 2137 Let me pay this beautiful lady. Alright, folks, so we're headed out of there. Beautiful ladies working at the at the uh, cash register. Got all my groceries right here. Rolling with my friend. Head back to the crib and then see what kind of trouble I can get in. So in and out for like uh, about 41 bucks. If you got kids, you know that's the way it is. Diapers in the milk hit you in the pocketbook. But you gotta do it. 